Well, let's take it to Abachi State, where the APC governorship candidate uh, Sadiq Abubakar has unveiled his manifesto ahead of the March elections, March 11 elections, stating that the, the education, health, and security will be prioritized. The former chief of air staff says his intent is to truly and genuinely serve the people. A senior correspondent, Joker Dissa, reports. Notable phases in Nigeria's political landscape are here to lend support to a former chief of the air staff flying the flag of the ruling party in Bauchi State. Not a few describe his emergence as governorship candidate as they needed tonic to write the blood scorecard of the ruling party in the state. His track record in the Air Force and the immense role played in decimating terrorists from no less than 17 local governments in Borno State in 2015 come into focus. Friends and associates applaud the efforts of the man they describe as the lion of our time and solicit support of the electorate towards the realization of his lofty goals. And those qualities in leadership, somebody that is upright, somebody that will ensure justice and equity. And our candidate, our brother, Sadiq Abubakar, has those qualities. Just after the commissioning of the oil well, we had the story of bandits, criminals surrounding that area. Air Vice Marshal and my humble self, he fought the militants, the oil thieves. The best thing to do is to vote for a man who has the fear of God, who is contented with providing his service, who realizes that Nigerians, in every 10 Nigerians, eight to nine of them are poor. Clear answer that I believe nobody can dispute is that of achievement, performance, success, delivery and value. The former security chief also receives pledges of support from the youth and the women who see his entry into the race as the game changer. Bauchi women need change. Bauchi women need improvement. Bauchi women need health care. Bauchi women need empowerment. The Sadiq Abubakar campaign organization says it is beginning door-to-door -door campaigns as well as community and religious strategies to ensure a change in the button come March 11, 2023. Jokeyadza, TVC News, Abuja.